What's up guys, over here from the One Way Gospel Ministry and I have another word for you to think about. Hey, so let's talk about why the church system today in America is not working. Why is it not producing the spiritual growth that we need to see in the individual? Well, I believe that there are many, many reasons and I'm sure you can find your own reasons. But there are reasons that span across all denominations and all churches. And we're not seeing a spiritual growth in the individual because of this. Number one, we have removed genuine Holy Spirit seeking services and replaced it with a form of godliness entertainment. It's a form of godliness because we're saying some key words that belong in a church building. But genuine Holy Spirit seeking services. I don't know. Spirit led services, uh, just movements of the Holy Spirit moving, like all that's been removed and been replaced with just entertainment with a routine we already know what to expect when we walk in the building we've placed here's the second point we've placed hierarchy in the church system to contain the body in a certain belief Every denomination has their hierarchy to make sure that their group of people do not stray from what they each other believe. Each other believes, yeah. This denomination needs to make sure they control what's being fed in the church. This denomination being controlled what needs to be fed in their church. And then this one. And the Holy Spirit is left out. The Holy Spirit is left out. It's insane that we call ourselves the body of Christ, yet we're so divided with denomination, and yet we say that each denomination is being led by the Holy Spirit. You think that the same Holy Spirit is leading each denomination in a different way? Does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. It's the same Holy Spirit. But man has put together their theology and then put a wall up and said this is what we're going to believe and this is where we stop Holy Spirit you have no more room here we stopped here we're going to denominate this we're going to organize this we're going to document everything that we believe and we're going to give it out and publicize it from the pulpit our Sunday school material everything When anybody else comes in against that, you kick them out. That's why we're not seeing spiritual growth. Third, the body, and it's gonna come, they're all gonna come back to the same same reason. The body is not edifying each other during service. We have removed scriptural practices to edify one another by each one of us bringing hymns, psalms, uh, spiritual words, uh, tongues, interpretations, healing, deliverance that's been removed from church. And we've been given a routine of three songs, offering, tithing, don't forget tithing. If you don't pay tithing, we can't have our, our, you know, our yearly fundraiser, whatever, man. All that stuff that people do. And then a sermon, and then an altar call. There's no edification. We, we've been so conformed with the edification being the one man, the one person telling us a message, and that's edifying me. That's not, that's not fellowship. That's not edifying the body. That's one person edifying all the members. And the scripture says, how can the hand say to the feet, I don't need you? 
How can the pastor, being part of the body, being a member, say, I don't need you guys? I don't need you guys. You listen to me. I don't need you. What kind of edification is that? That's not edification. That's saying, hey, I'm going to feed you what this denomination believes. You accept it, you take it, and you go out. And by us being conformed to that, th that thought, we leave no room for the Holy Spirit to guide our lives. Because once the Holy Spirit begins to guide us, we question them, but we don't want to question them, so we rather listen to them because they've done all the homework. They've done all the studying. They went to school. They seek the Lord more than I do. They're the pastor. They're more spiritual than I am. They must know better than I do. I'm just a layman. I'm just a layman. I don't know anything. But it's because the Holy Spirit's not leading us. See what I'm saying? There's no fruits of the Spirit because we're not being led by the Spirit. Why isn't there no spiritual fruits? Because the Spirit's not giving us the fruits. He's not letting us grow. We're not, we're not being supplied by the source of the vine. Does that make sense now? We need to just to we need to cut down the hierarchy. Bring the body back to the same level to start edifying each other through the Holy Spirit. The system must crumble. Jesus came to destroy the system. He told the Pharisees and the Sadducees that every brick would fall. The temple, the veil, torn. Each person can go to the holy of holies you can worship God in spirit and truth wherever and we all we, we know this as a concept but we don't fully understand this am I saying don't go to your church absolutely not I don't know if I mentioned this but there's a small percentage of people that go to the church system that are successful in spiritual growth in their own life in their own life because they seek the Lord by, in, in their heart and they're growing they're seeing their fruits but yet these people in there have the same issues they're, they're, they know that they're in the church and they're saying there's something missing here and those people if that's you asking the question there's something missing here what is it? it's this you, you have it figured out you're being spirit led but the majority of people are not and they look at you like you're crazy you're saying you're, you're crazy. But it's because the Spirit is saying they have a form of godliness, but they're denying the power thereof from such turn away. These are some harsh and strong words, guys, but it's the truth. The question was, why isn't the church system producing fruit? It's because we removed the Holy Spirit. Don't take my words for it. Jesus said himself, I'm outside the door knocking, talking to the church. I'm outside knocking, let me in. Jesus, outside his own church, they've kicked him out. And he wants to come back in. We have removed the Holy Spirit from our church. And we have a form of godliness and we're denying the power of the gospel. Turn away from that. Does it turn away from the church? No. Turn away from that mentality. Surrender all. Get connected to God. Don't get connected to your church. Don't get connected to your denomination. Get connected to the Holy Spirit. Let Him lead you in all truth. Let Him lead you in the Spirit. Walk by the Spirit, not by the flesh. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. You seek the Lord 100%. The church is going to do what they're going to do. And there's so many other reasons, and I'm, I'm sure you can just list them all out because you have experience. You know what I'm talking about. Deep inside, you know what I'm talking about. You might not like it. You might not want to get rid of it. You might not want to lose it. But the truth of the matter is you know what I'm talking about. So you guys have a great day. Hope you guys think about this, and I'll talk to you soon.